Alright folks, uh, Alan Rubel coming back at you for Ozark Mountain Outdoor Adventures. Uh, definitely have a special treat here for you this evening. Um, coming at you here real quick, we got some uh, really nice binoculars uh, that we're going to go over here with you. Uh, but if you haven't already, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button to the YouTube channel and we'll get right into it. All right, folks. Well, thanks again so much for tuning in here with us this evening. Um, so, yes, we do have uh, archery season coming up here very quickly. So we're getting all of our uh, ducks in a row, so to speak. And uh, so definitely have some optics on our mind here. And so we're going to come at you here real quick today with the top five. Uh, so stay tuned till the end to see what our top pick is for the day. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button to the YouTube channel. Uh, so right here we have uh, an, an Amazon uh, Choice brand. Um, you so good. <laughs> I don't know if that is really the name of the brand or what. But um, this definitely made uh, the, the cut as it is Am Amazon's Choice. And it is... Um, 4.4 4 out of 5 stars uh, so that is no easy task coming from Amazon reviews it's under $50 uh, it's 12 by 50 set of binoculars uh, so let's kind of see what these binoculars have to offer um, you know I thought one uh, pretty cool item was that it came with this uh, phone mount and tripod here it says for bird watching, but for all you um, YouTubers and vloggers out there, uh, it's super cool being able to uh, record through a scope or a spotting scope or a pair of binoculars. So I know this uh, definitely has appeal, um, on, you know, to, to a lot of folks out there. But uh, uh, really, just a nice budget-friendly uh, set of binoculars if you're just wanting to have a little bit extra. Uh, when you're out in the field to kind of be able to to zoom in on you know at a ball game or bird watching whatever the case may be here this this is a good uh, under 50 bucks set of binoculars there's really not a whole lot to them what i thought here was a, a nice little bonus uh was i was a little bit more interested in this even uh than the binoculars itself um I thought this was pretty cool. It's only 30 bucks, so um, nice. Anyway, nothing special. Just a good budget-friendly uh, binoculars there for 50, 45 bucks. Uh, so let's get on into the next one here. Um, so I was really on the fence on this one. I'm not even sure what brand this is, uh, but it looks like a really nice quality set of binoculars. Um, the reason I was on the fence because it is $108 uh, for this set of binoculars, and you you can really go uh, sky's the limit on you know your optics. Uh, however, I really like some of the features uh, that this this has available on it. Um, and again, I don't even know the name of the brand. Uh, but one of the things that I really like and you don't find on every set is this zoom uh, lever. That you're able to, to adjust your zoom uh, very quickly on it. The zoom ring uh, there. So I thought it, it looks very um, nice uh, quality set of binoculars. Uh, here, so you know, I I thought it, I thought it was definitely worth looking into uh, for a hundred and eight dollars. Like I said, you can uh, go sky's the limit on your on your optics. It is uh, only four out of five stars. I would assume that uh, there are some folks here that um, purchased the hundred and eight dollars and expected you know a $250 set of binoculars I did not get into the comments to see what they said but um, for our $108 it's still a budget uh, budget set of binoculars in my opinion uh, there's a couple other ones down here uh, this is the 10 by 50 here's the uh, 
little 10 by 50. Anyway, here's the one uh, really for 108 that I was looking at. There's 138 on this one. There we go. A little bit bigger. Not quite as appealing to me um, for the size of it. Uh, but uh, that's 138 bucks. Well, anyway, I thought that that was a really good looking set of binoculars for 108 bucks. Still kind of a budget uh, set of binoculars. So again, I really like that zoom uh, ring lever on there. I've, I've tried those in the past. It's a really nice feature to, if you're in a hurry to get a, a glimpse of something uh, that you can really zero in on it very quickly. So anyway, definitely want to put this one on here. Again, I don't even know what brand it is. Uh, it could be this AAJI. I'm not sure what it is. But anyway, it looks nice. Um, again, I wouldn't put anything on here that I wouldn't use myself. Um, I, I do think there's a couple more on the list uh, here that uh, for $108, just a little bit more money, and you can get you uh, something else. Uh, let me double check here, and I'll show you what's coming up next is a good example a bush now 10 by 42 um, these these you know I've got a similar set right now of bush now uh, not quite as nice as this um, you usually for what I'm using them for uh, they're very compact um, you know something I can put in my vest pocket just to be able to get out real quick just to check this check an antler uh, if I'm not quite sure uh, on something so I, I like to go small and uh, this is very similar to what these are nicer than what I have but uh, similar to what I've got uh, right now for hundred and fifty seven dollars so um, just depending on what your needs are and what your preferences are uh, this might not be uh, the set for you this is really more in line uh, what I my hunting style and, and what I would use versus the last one would be more maybe a scouting but I would definitely have the this right here on my persons um, if I was doing maybe some rifle hunting where I didn't want to have to throw up uh, my, my rifle to check the scope and just be able to kind of scan uh, again check those check a check a buck to see if he's uh, big enough to take a shot at but definitely the bush nail has to make the list because they are a good brand you know you get a quality product um, so here for 150 bucks still in my opinion on the budget side um, because you can really get up into some really expensive binoculars but uh, here's one that uh, I feel like I could see myself using uh, pretty easily so let's keep moving right along here Nikon uh, definitely their glass is um, on the upper level, uh, you know, there's no no question. Nikon is quality. If you're looking for um, a clear resolu or a clear picture, good eye relief, Nikon has it all um, here. And just a, a really nice looking set of binoculars. Um, and here we have that that I guess it's the set, Pro Staff Seven series. Um, so here's the one I picked was uh, the 10 by 30 you can also get this one again a little bit bigger these are actually really nice uh, for 218 bucks man you can't beat that um, and then there's these look a little small a little 8 8 by 30 a little small I mean if I'm gonna pay 186 bucks I want a little bit more um, uh, uh, a little bit more yeah, I'm a brain fart there <laughs> anyway a little bit small for me I think the the 1030 10 by 30 is a little bit more uh, my taste so anyway definitely Nikon is uh, one to consider let's see if they have their lineup down here not sure what those are um, okay anyway this very well may uh, it was a it was a hard choice between these two but uh, I ultimately I know I made the right decision for our top pick of the day and what is it folks would you like to guess vortex optics here 
So they, they have a really nice series to choose from. This is really, if I'm 179 bucks for a 12 by 50 set of Vortex, oh man, you just can't beat that at all. This would be a great set. Um, had, had opportunity to look through their glass, you know, I'm sure you have uh, before as well, and there's really no question about the quality. Uh, and the price on this set right here is uh, really, really a good deal. Um, and you know it's got that uh, it's got that uh, it's got that pouch that comes with. Let me double check that. Anyway, uh, this is the pick of the day. Uh, Vortex is a uh, really great customer friendly uh, brand uh, with the quality uh, and craftsmanship to back it up. Definitely this is the pick of the day. Um, I would love to have a set of these. Um, not in the market uh, right now for one. Again, I have got a similar set to that Bushnell uh, and you know just a just a more of a budget friendly. I'm a budget friendly guy. I'm a do it do it yourself kind of guy. Uh, but Vortex, my next set is going to be something just like this uh, here on this set. So anyway we definitely appreciate appreciate you tuning in with season six coming up if you haven't already go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button to the youtube channel and we'll see you next time